Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! As I said, the gears that I made will be used for the transmission of the late machine. Thus, they must be hardened and tempered in order to last for a long time. And this is what I'm going to perform today. This is the device that I made for hardening and tempering the workpiece. It is a combination of low and high temperature electric furnace with air and liquid quenching attachment. The procedure in hardening 4140 medium carbon steel is as follows. First step, place the workpiece inside the furnace. Second step, start the furnace and preheat the steel slowly. Okay, iset muna natin ng at least 100 degrees Celsius ang electric furnace para ma-preheat ang workpiece. 100 degrees Celsius. Step number three, heat the steel to the recommended temperature by the manufacturer. The recommended temperature for a 4140 carbon steel is 830 to 860 degrees Celsius. So, iset na natin. Eight hundred going eight hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Then, tayo natin marits ang eight hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Bago natin ilabas ang workpiece at iharden. Step number four, rinse in water, brine, or oil, depending on the type of steel or manufacturer's recommendation. Okay, the recommended quenching liquid for 4140 medium carbon steel is oil. Here is an oil inside the stainless tank. For safety practices, I have to wear face shield. and a heat resistant gloves and a long tongue note long slender pieces should be quenched vertically to avoid warping step number five move the work about in the quenching medium in a figure of eight motion to allow the steel to cool quickly and evenly. Next step. Test for hardness with a hardness tester or a file. The file test is a trial and error method. I want a more accurate method to test the hardness of the workpiece by the use of a Rockwell hardness tester. This is the Rockwell hardness tester, dial type. The hardness of untreated 4140 carbon steel is around 14 to 16 HRC. And the recommended hardness of transmission gear is 32 to 48 HRC. Now let's do a test. Wow. 
Then wait for five seconds. Okay. The Rockwell hardness reading is 52. Okay. As I've said, the recommended hardness for transmission gear is 32 to 48 HRC. Sa ngayon, 52. Pasok sa ating requirement, but the workpiece is brittle and may break it easily. So, I need to toughen the workpiece and make it less brittle. And this process is tempering. So, bababa itong hardness niya mamaya, pero pag increase naman yung ductility and toughness. Okay. The procedure in tempering the workpiece is as follows. Step number one, clean all the surface scale from the work with abrasive cloth or steel brush. Okay. Step number two, Select the temperature or color desired. Here are the different tempering colors and approximate temperatures for carbon steel and their applications. I'm going to use 265 degrees Celsius with a color of brownish purple for gears. The next step, heat the steel slowly and evenly. Of course, ilagay ko na uli ang workpiece sa furnace. Ito ang masusunod, 265. So, switch on the electric furnace. When the steel reaches the correct temperature or color, quench it quickly in the same cooling medium used for hardening. Now let's do a test again whether the hardness of the gear after tempering decreases to 32 to 48 HRC, which is the recommended hardness of the transmission gear. Okay. Yes. It's now 43 HRC. So, pasok na pasok na. So, hard siya, but ductile and tough. Okay? Additional knowledge. In general, there are two ways to harden steel to the required level. First is the case hardening, which is the process of hardening just the surface of the workpiece. It is also known as carburizing. The second one is through hardening, which is also known as neutral hardening, in which the workpiece becomes hard all the way through from the surface to the inner part or core. Hence, the term through hardening. And that is what I perform. Okay? See you again. Thank you very much.